Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in Sarasana, this is Daily Rambles, and today we're doing Season 2, Episode 11 of The Flash, and it's called The Reverse Flash Returns. Start off with um, a runaway chemical truck that Barry tries to stop, but someone took out the brakes and stuff, so he has to keep thinking about it, and then they f he figures out a way he takes off the wheels and stops the truck this much before he hits the wall. That much. And then I found, uh, then they returned to Star Labs, trying to work on trying to build up his speed or to still zoom speed, and we found the turtle dead. Then Jay and HR um, and Harry uh, Wells argue because Jay blames Harrison, and Harrison's kind of deflecting it. You know, he he really did do that. <laughs> Then we have Barry breaks it up. Then it's um, then we cut to the police station where it's awkward moment between Barry and Patty. And then Joe says that um, Francine doesn't have much time left to Iris, who visits him at the station. Then Cisco needs help with vibing. He's like he can do it sometimes, but not really. So basically, um, Harrison Wells um, scares him, and. Um, it works and it turns out his motivation is fear and so then he sees the reverse flash um kidnap miss mcgee at mercury labs and we find out the reverse flash is actually a remnant he's actually the reverse flash because he's dead and then uh, we have the reverse flash blackmails mcgee to build a tachyon device and then Iris visits uh, Francine in the hospital, which is her mom, for people who do not know, um, and tells her that uh, she isn't angry at her anymore. And then it was like a really touching sh scene, actually. And then we have Barry is um, icing Patty out. And then we have Wells perfected Cisco's goggles, and they work. And he knows where um, he knows he he knows where. McGee and Reverse Flashes and saw Reverse Flash kill her. But they, uh, he thinks again, he notices the time is later, so he vibed the future. And then we cut to Joe says goodbye to Patty. And then Patty knows that Barry is the Flash. And, uh, to Joe, and he just kind of deflects it. <laughs> it doesn't really work, though. Then we have Iris visits Wally and then guilts him about, um, her, about about his mother. Um, the, but he gets angry and storms off and leaves. Then we have Barry goes to, uh, gets to Christina just in time. There's reverse flash versus the flash and Barry li literally beats up the reverse flash pretty easily and they lock him up into a cell. And then Caitlin and Jay talk and then Cisco talks to reverse flash and let him know who he is and how he built this um, thing and he's like, you're going to be in there forever. But his nose starts bleeding a little bit. Then we have Barry and Patty talk again, and Barry lied to her about um, him being the Flash. Then it's reverse Flash and Flash talk, and the reverse Flash was hella jealous. <laughs> like he wanted to be him, but it turns out that he couldn't, so he decided to be evil. And then um, we see then Cisco is bleeding some more, and then he starts seizing up and have, is having a seizure. It turns out they have to let the Reverse Flash go because this is the Reverse Flash origin story that's happening. So basically, like if they keep him there, no one would get their powers, and so that um, that means Cisco wouldn't get his powers. So that means he'll pretty much be erased from existence or something. So, um, so they they decide to let the Reverse Flash go, and they decide to speed around the Particle Accelerator and throw him back into his timeline. Then once they do that, Cisco is fine. And then we have uh, Caitlin and Jay talk. And they see his doppelganger. Doppelganger, sure. Uh, but he thought the same idea that Caitlin had, but his DNA is mutated, so therefore he the doppelganger would not be a good candidate. Then Wally talks to Iris and then asks if, he will, if she will go to the hospital with him to see his mother. Then Patty fixed an emergency to Barry and said the flash shows up and turns out she lied. <laughs> and then, uh, but it turns out they leave on good terms. And that's the end of the episode. 
So, uh, really good episode, and I like the the send off with um, Patty. I think it was really interesting, and just everything about the episode was really good. So I'm gonna say plus. And that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff. Bye, everybody.